Extracorporeal photophoresis is one of the first therapies that was actually approved for cutaneous T cell lymphoma. Um, and initially, we were using it in our patients with very advanced Cesare syndrome. But since then, we've learned a lot about photophoresis. We've learned about the mechanism of action and modulation of the immune system. And we've also learned that we can combine other agents like interferons and retinoids to help us to attain the best response. Uh, because there's really not a lot of, of data with photophoresis, it's being used commonly in the community, uh, we went ahead and, and put together a retrospective analysis to really detail the response rates to photophoresis, the duration of therapy, um, and which patients benefit. And I think this is very valuable for the for the community at large to try to understand how photophoresis fits in to the treatment algorithm for these patients with cutaneous T cell lymphoma. In particular, of course, patients with blood involvement have the higher response rate. But we've also felt that the addition of these other biological therapies really does help to accentuate the overall response rate and the duration of response while on photophoresis.